What is up, you guys? My name is Plus Pressure One. Welcome to Open World Game, the Open World Game. I saw this up on Steam. It was free, so I figured, why not? You know, it's really loud, though. Holy crap, Christmas. Let's turn some of that shit down. Let me just down the bass up. Okay, so, without further ado, here we go. Alright, here we are. Jesus criminy Christmas. Okay. Hmm, something's not quite right. Much better. You didn't need to see all that anyway. <laughs> Uh, right, right, down, left. Whoa! Left, left, up, left. Down, left, up, down. I leveled up. Oops. K for skill points. What? Aim holds your breath to get... <laughs> It's a block. Why not, yo? Down, right, down, up. Down. I leveled up again. What is going on? Oops. Just what is. <laughs> This is legit it, I guess. I have no <gasps> This is legit it. Hunt tutorial monsters entry. Oops. I have no idea what this is. Oh. <laughs> this is legit the game, by the way. This is Hunt Tutorial Woman. Lady named Tutorial Woman asked you to take care of some slimes to prove you understand the controls. You did, and you were rewarded some Ar Aroganian coins. We asked you to hunt five feral rats to prove you can jump. Uh, you're not sure how that proves you can jump, nor did you need to jump to take care of the job. She still rewarded you with a red potion. Yeah. <laughs> 
take this arrow and actually go back to where I started. Oh! That was interesting. What's this? Yeah, skill point. Abandoned outpost entry. And I leveled up. Uh, give me this one. Completion. <laughs> Devo? Oh my god. This game actually has a lot of in-depthness to it. I don't know how much of that... I probably fast-forwarded all that reading because... You know, it's pertinent information, but I probably... Retired boss. What's this? Bandit Fortress 2. <laughs> What's this? A slime room. Okay. Deal with the bandits entry. Little bullies. Oh, look at heart! I leveled up. Ruby A3 entry? What? Ending F. Find them all entry. <laughs> There's another heart up there. Damn it. There we go. Town Minstrel. Level up again. Ruby A1. This is a difficult program and it's constantly easy to abuse. This is very weird. Oh! This is the Tales of Adventure. Okay, so there's one more of those. Oh! Holy crap, there's so much in depth to this game. <laughs> okay, the abandoned outpost. You found an abandoned outpost and plenty of loot for the taking. Okay. The bandits have been robbing people near Perfader, and you took them out. You were rewarded with some spoils. Ending F, find them all. You are introduced to the collectible card game in a bar. You become so addicted to finding every card and beating every opponent that you forgot your adventure entirely. You were rewarded with a thi with a thief ending credit scene, and you were returned to the point before you ever tried to return the game. Oh my god, this is crazy! Fence repair. Legit the entire game, by the way. <laughs> Nothing but a map and collecting text. What the crap? I mean, I saw it, it looked like it was exactly what this is. Oh, that's Sky Arch. Okay. Balance beacon. Oh, water. I'm slow.
Stay there, just stay there. Oh, fuck you. Stop being a dick! I got you! Oh, that was a pain in the ass. Another swamp beacon. God, the fish ones are kind of suck. Climbing beacon? Gah! That's so hard! Why am I still playing this? This is legit all it is. Why am I legitimately playing this? Oh, come on! Oh, you gotta really get so close and you're a douche! Oh! <laughs> Do I have anything that can help me with that? Gave me the ability to skip cutscenes. Sure, why not? Sorry for that one. Oh my god, why do you go the opposite direction? Why are you such a pain in the dick? Ah! Ah, tilapia! Oh my god! Hey, question mark. Tightrope. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy! I'm gonna collect a few of these and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright you guys, progress time! I'm not 25% as you can see over there, I'm at level 31, you can't see that because it's under my head. I've gotten some pretty good little upgrades. I don't know why I'm legitimately playing this guy. But, some of these upgrades actually do the, like, the blue. Uh, this will make challenges easier, this will make them more difficult, this will make them more... I can hold a skill node to learn that skill. No, I know. Uh, this one will make challenges easier to surpass. This side just basically makes the challenges easier or harder, gives you more experience, but makes, and I can make them back easier. Uh, the speedrunner stuff gives you more speed, and gives you, like, uh, increased movement speed, rolling for some weird reason. And completionist gives you stuff like select and hold the skill node to... Damn it. <coughs> um, <coughs> select a challenge type and that, you know, points you in the right direction. It's like previously visited location, fast travel, stuff like that. So, I mean, got a bunch of stuff and I've unlocked a lot of stuff. I haven't found that last chapter yet, but I found a lot. Arachnophobia. Oh my god, this game is freaking insanity! 
I legit want to collect everything. I don't know why. I found some lookout points. Incredible view of Cynthia. Ooh, another, another mountain peak. These are the most pain in the butt. Found only in a lake. This is somehow the most generic fish you can imagine. You have a feeling this is there's a red one. Bright pink and purple fish. Bright pink and purple fish found in the Ivory Lake. The most common fish is the glass ocean. There, select it. For some reason, you thought fishing in someone's decorative pond was a good idea. You had second thoughts after catching the fish, however, and put it back. Somehow, after catching you one of, after catching one, you have three mackerels perfectly grilled and served over rice. Pokemon reference, really? It's really, it's just magic carp. Magic carp, I get it. Best smoked is served on the bagels. Though the name is uh, is um, ominous, swamp monsters are just as harmless as any other common fish. Their fins look like large mouths, and their sharp and with sharp teeth scare away predators. Telescope fish, small fish with strange eyes that are said to be able to see the bottom of the ocean. Fry it up with some spices, and you've got a tasty meal. Oh my god! Here we go! <laughs> this up later because sweet baby Jesus I can't read it anymore I just can't <laughs> but that is open world game the open world game I might play this and try I'm gonna try and complete this game because I want to see what that last or at least try and get to the last exclamation point but I have a feeling I have to uncover everything else to do that so Hopefully you guys got a laugh out of this, because me uh, fast-forwarding through a lot of that reading, probably. Because, sweet Jesus, mother of mayhem, I've been recording for almost an hour just getting to 25% of the game. Most of that was all reading. But again, I asked for this. It was free to play, It's free to play up on Steam. I'll link it in the description down below if I remember to. Uh, but it's really cool. It's really interesting. It's got some really good potential to it. It's way different than any open-world game I've ever played. But it's got a lot of references to a lot of open-world games that I've played. So, all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to hit a thumbs up button. Really appreciate when you guys like my videos because then it shows me that you guys are enjoying stuff. Uh, if you have any other ideas of any kind of free games you want to want to see me try and play, whether it's on Steam, Itch.io, or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. So, all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, and peace out. Yeah.